I've been practicing the ukulele. Can, can you see the calluses on my fingertips? It's happening. It's, it's real. I've had a fantastic weekend. The friend from the internet who I've never met in real life, I went to visit her and her sister, and I had just the happiest possible time. It was fantastic. They were big fans of my one food vlog, so I promised I would tell the world of Caitlin's wonderful red quinoa dish that she made for her sister and me, and it really was very tasty. I feel like I should say something more entertaining to finish up this first part. Trader Joe's Rules! Happy Monday, Paul Talkers! It's Monday. I mean, I'm taping this on Sunday, but you're seeing it on Monday. As you can tell, I am back in my kitchen. I'm gonna do a legit recipe today, so I needed as much time as possible. I didn't want to do this in the middle of the week or later on, and this Sunday I actually had some time, so here I am doing it. I'm not gonna bother reading off all of the details of the recipe, because I can just copy and paste this into the doobly-doo, and I will. And I am really lazy, and I decided to fake it and do the easiest possible versions of what is suggested. I'm going to be doing a roasted squash and apple chowder with potatoes. 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 Potato. Am I going to get sued if I tell you the name of the grocery store? I went to a nearby grocery store that is very large, whose name, in fact, denotes how large, tall even, it is. I got a bunch of leaks. This is not trick photography. I had no idea leaks were this enormous. No wonder he freaked out and cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. Cut up two pounds of potatoes, more than six cups worth of butternut squash, Braeburn apples, on the sign in the store that said they were good for cooking. So I got some apple juice because I didn't have any apple juice. What I did already have was olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and 100% pure maple syrup. The first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Done. Coat baking sheet with cooking spray. I don't really have a baking sheet. I'm gonna put tin foil in my pizza pan. Yeah. I mean, it's a sheet. It can go in the oven and you can bake stuff on it. It's close enough. Do I really have to peel these apples? I mean, isn't apple peel like good? At the very least, I know it's edible. Screw it, I'm not gonna peel them because I'm lazy. That's the whole point is that I am lazy. Ha! Ha! Cool. Ah! I don't think cutting the apples is going to be interesting to watch. I chopped the all, all the apples up. That's like three cups of apples chopped up. I'm already a little tired of cooking. People do this for fun? Oh crap. What? know what I'm supposed to do with this. Ah, I mean, look at that. What? I guess I should wash it? I tried washing it and I discovered that the outside part of this could be peeled off. So I did. And then I tore off the topmost end of the green parts. So I'm going to use some of the green parts for the greens requested segment of the recipe. And then the white parts for the other requested segment of the recipe. The recipe doesn't call for the pubic hair parts of the leek, so I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to assume that I'm not supposed to eat that. I don't know! I don't know what I'm doing! One inch chunks of the white part. Close enough. Sure. Is this still the white part? I mean, it's kind of white and it's kind of green. Damn it! Oh wait, I should be measuring this. Ah, eh, close enough. Finally, I get to be lazy. About two cups. No, six cups. Six cups of butter, that's fine. That's two, that's two cups. And six cups. A lot of butternut squash. Dang. No, it said five cups. Damn, wait, but what? But what? But what? I'm supposed to get six cups of butternut squash for the recipe, but I only use five cups here? God damn it. Freshly washed hands. 
Here's how you subtract a cup of buttermilk squash from your pot. Two cups of the diced apple. Wait, wait, but I... I did three cups of apple. What is going on here? I forget that you're supposed to read recipes to the end before you start. Which, FYI, is really stupid. That is stupid that you have to... It's a recipe. Anyway. So, apparently I'm supposed to save a small chunk of each of the ingredients to add to the soup at the end during the simmering process. How do I know if I want salt and pepper there unless I've tasted it at the end? What? Is cooking for time travelers? I mean, I generally like things salty and peppery, so what the hell. Future Paul, if you don't like that, come back in time and stop me. Up, I suppose. There's no way this is gonna fit, especially not in a single row. Tough. <laughs> Look, if you wanted a good cooking show, there are lots of other channels. No, soups were so hard. I mean, it's not boiling water yet, but it will eventually be boiling water. I guess there's nothing I can do until the vegetables are roasted, so... Whip cut? Oh, we're back. Okay. Turn that off. Since you've been gone, is it Kelly Clarkson's song? It's been 30 minutes, and all the potatoes and butternut squash finished boiling, so I strained it and I set it aside. So let's get the uh, roasted vegetables out of here. Ooh. <laughs> I just want to eat this right now. It smells really, really good. Wow. All right. Magic! Puree roasted vegetables in blender until smooth. I don't know if my blender is that good. So the fourth step is a bunch of different steps all at the same time, which, that's, that's more than one step. Who writes these recipes? Why don't I add the apple juice and the four cups of water first? Apple juice, two cups of water, this isn't, I can probably cut this part out. Four cups of water. Yet again, people, I don't know what I'm doing. This is like a really predictable episode of Will It Blend. Pure? Eh. Pure? More like pure yay. I think we're almost done. This tiny segment of paper has taken me like three hours. Whisk in the vinegar. Close enough. Alright. And whisk that bitch right in. Oh yeah. Whisking it good. Season with salt and pepper of desire. Wait, again? How do I know? How do I? Fine. Fine. Salt. Pepper. I hope you're happy. Recipe. So the recipe says that it can serve eight. I assume that means months. That is going to be mostly potato. <laughs> and then simmer until hot. Which I think means keep on going until all the things that are hard stop being hard. I'm sorry. So I'll be back. This has simmered pretty darn well. It's nice and thick. Try to get a little bit of everything. Apple, potato, leeks. Can you see that? It's chowdery. Taste this. It probably would work better if you actually diced the apples instead of, you know, being lazy and just doing enormous chunks of apple. I'm not a good cook, you guys. I'm so bad at it. I take all the shortcuts, even the ones that don't work. That's really good. That's really good. Oh, um, now is the time when I want to salt it and pepper it to taste, when I can taste it. And because it's me, probably some crushed red pepper. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. 
So there we go. Another cooking vlog. What did you think? Um, if you liked it, subscribe. Like the video. Tell your friends about it. Uh, leave me a comment about what else I should cook. If I should stop cooking on these two videos. Uh, something. If nothing else, just tell me something that matters to you. And thanks for watching. It smells leaky. This is gonna be the worst soup ever. Uh, ah. I bleaked all over the place. We all knew that was coming. That's what she said.